This winter, our area has been pretty lucky. The amount of snow has been minimal. This past week, though, we were in the path of a major winter storm that dropped a pretty good amount of snow. Today it was snowing lightly, and with all the snow that we received over the last week, it seemed like a great day to head to the farm and do some snowshoeing. Not only is snowshoeing a great way to get some winter exercise, but it provided an excuse to explore the various areas of the property in the winter. The amazing thing for me was just how different everything looked under a blanket of snow versus the first time I saw this property in the fall of the year. Every now and then I notice different things that I hadn't seen before, such as old farm implements that just seem to be abandoned on the side of the fields. The last time I walked these areas, there were weeds and grasses taller than my head. It was nice to be able to look around and see the characteristics of the land without all the extra overgrowth. get to the area where the aspen field is on the right and the birch grove is on the left, you're just about at the pond. The water features on the property were completely frozen over. It was cool to see all the animal tracks that crisscrossed not only the property, but also across the pond. It's easy for them to get from one side to the other. The only moving water is the little stream that is fed by a spring on the side of the property. Despite the cold winter weather, the temperate water provides an environment of growth all year round. The side field looks well used, both by animals and I think a few snowmobiles. The snowshoes have allowed me to explore the back portion of the property. I haven't been back here yet, so this is pretty exciting. It's completely different than the front portion of the property. There's big, old-growth trees back here, as far as the eye can see. There's even a meandering stream that crisscrosses through the back area of the property, where it meets the pond. After a couple of hours of snowshoeing a few miles through the front and back of the property, it was time to head back to civilization and move on with the day. I look forward to coming back and snowshoeing again before the end of winter. There's a lot of land to explore, and it really makes the ideas swirl around in my head. For today though, thanks for coming along. We'll see you on the next video.